Hey team, Luca Crusader Machining here, back for another great video. Today we're gonna have fun. I got a setup I'm working on. I gotta get the tools together. I gotta get the tools in the machine. Do you wanna watch how I do it? It's gonna be a point of view video today. Let's get a job ready and tool it up. Let's go. First things first, coffee. Gotta get a couple jobs together today. We are getting ready to run a job with a 589 drill. Let's get this sucker turned on. Gonna be getting ready to mount some tools. Got my handy light. We're gonna rock and roll. So I found a spade drill. The bore size and what we're making is 589. This is 531. Generally don't like to use spade drills but for this application, it'll be all right. And I need to find a bushing that will allow me to have coolant through. So you can see down here, we made these little brass parts to pound in the back of it. Three quarter shank drill, three quarter shank bushing, boom. So I found a 062, we have an ID groove that we need to make. So I use these solid carbide ID groovers. Same thing, we need a bushing for it. We don't really have to worry about cooling through for this. Now I need two boring bars all the way on the other side of the shop. That's what we are gonna do, walk and walk and walk after my Walking adventure, I have found them. What size? I think three millimeter. Nope, one eighth. Snap. Next. That one's a little stubborn. And before I put these in the machine, what I like to do is to make sure that our torque screws are in good condition, we are going to replace them. Woo! Now I need bushings for these. Beautiful. We're definitely gonna do cooling through with our drill. It's not that deep of a hole. I really can't show the print, so don't get upset with me about that. But all of our cooling through is a pipe thread, 1 8 27. So I just tighten that down with my adjustable. And I know on the last job, tool one was my drill, which is right here, tool one. And we'll make sure I'm on the flat. Airline. Boop, boop, let's double check that. Go to tool one, turn on our water. Perfect, absolutely not coming out of the drill. Well, the coolant didn't come out of the drill at all, so we're gonna address that. We're only drilling in about 270 thousandths deep, so it might not even matter, but I'm gonna load the rest of the tools. Ain't 
Now I'm not doing cooling through to cap off this because if I turn on the water, it will just be blowing it to nowhere. Gotcha. Cap that off. And now let's see if this coolant is better than the drill. We're looking at that tool right there. Woo! Oh, that's real good. Hey, Rigo, where's the anti-seize? You got it? Yeah, it's full. Hey guys, I hope you liked that video. That was just a quick down and dirty, get the job together, get the tools in, get them ready to be touched off and ran through. Wanted to show you how I do it. That's a normal given day, probably three to four days a week, minimum of getting jobs together, getting tools in there, running machines, actually setting up production jobs in a production environment. Do you like videos like that? If you do and you want more, I'll go all the way through setup, touching it off, running it through. Heck, even running production, mopping floor, sweeping floor, shining my shoes. You name it, you got it. Luke Crusader Machining, like, follow, subscribe. Check me out on all my socials. We'll see you next time.